Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. This just reminded me of um, of a video I did a while a while ago, and if you're a new subscriber, you probably didn't see me react to this, but I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm probably gonna end up bringing it up again. But here, I'm gonna just play it for y'all real quick because it's another lack of accountability. Let's check it out. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower. And what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. Wait a minute. Who are you? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. So somebody gets behind a microphone making you feel better about your lack of weight loss, your lack of activity, your lack of exercise, your lack of choosing healthy foods, and and, and y'all just agree with it. I mean, this was crazy too. I'm not gonna pull up the tweets from this because I got tweets from this too. This was maybe a year or two ago when I first saw this. But just another example of lack of accountability. You're blaming everything but your habits. You're blaming, um, the, I'm, I, was, I didn't show it in this clip, but she even, the full clip, she even blamed the president. <laughs> like. She blamed the president for, the, for, for for being obese. And I wish I could ask her, like, what have you ate in the past 30 days? What you, what you eat last week? And I guarantee she's not taking the steps to lose the weight. No way. No way she went to the gym five, six times this week before she got on that interview. There's no way. She ate a um, she ate lean, lean protein and, and vegetables before this and, a, and drank a gallon of water. Absolutely no way. There's no way. It's literally science. It has nothing to do with your race. And even if you're stressed, there's a way to manage stress. We talk about therapy all the time on this podcast. You, you having trouble with your mental like that? Go to therapy. Use the gym as your therapy. There's ways to manage that stress. There's ways to do it. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying, but but we all got our problems. You're not the only person. Like it's it's unacceptable. It's not an excuse. Like why why didn't she say what diet she followed? Why she ain't tell us what diet did you do that didn't work? Please let us know. I would love to know. Somebody that's helped a lot of black women lose weight. Let me know. I'd love to get on it on it on it on a panel with her and debate that. Y'all really be trying to cancel me. Man. Listen, man. We got to stop this surgery stuff, right? And one thing that pops in my mind is this surgery stuff is pretty new. So we don't know what it's going to be, what it's going to turn into years from now. So, uh, and I always say this. We got YouTube, TikTok, we got Google. You can figure out how to change your body, change your physique. All right? Long, slow, gradual process is always better. When you enter college, you don't get a degree in the first two weeks. It takes four years, right? You want a certain certification to get a certain job, it takes time. We have this skill set and use it towards other areas except for health and fitness and our body image, right? We, we use patience for all types of stuff, saving money. People use patience for all types of stuff. Building character. That's what this fitness thing does for you. And, I mean, this is just ridiculous. This got to stop. And I, 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 I should have went harder today. I think I went hard enough. But, I mean, I'm speaking all facts. All facts. So, look, man. See Marty Fit. Another episode of the Less Bunches, More Crunches podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have a topic you want me to, to talk about, send it over to me. Um, if you disagree with me, let me know why you disagree. I'm going to cook you in the comments, but let me know. So, another episode. I'll catch y'all on the next episode of Less Brunches, More Crunches podcast. We out. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV.